This is Dr. John Quick, Superintendent of Schools, Bartholomew Consolidated School Corporation. This video was created to educate students about important safety tips when walking or biking to school. We also want to increase awareness of distracted driving to our parents and high school students that drive to school. Distracted driving, which includes driving while talking on the phone, texting, or engaging in any non-driving activity, draws driver's attention off the road and lengthens reaction time. Getting everyone to school safely is something we do not take for granted. We have 12,000 students and 1,800 staff members attending school 180 days on 17 different campuses in the county. One out of six people driving to school isn't paying attention to what is going on around them. 112 cyclists and motor vehicle crashes have occurred in this community in the last five years. 58 without injury and 54 reported some type of injury. Hi, I'm Columbus Police Chief Jason Maddox. Here's some things for parents to avoid. Parking in a bus loading zone. Stopping in crosswalks or loading zones. Double parking and blocking traffic. U-turns. Running or rolling through stop signs. Parking across from school and sending students across the street. Speeding in school zones. Put your cell phone away. I'm Mr. Freegood and I'm Dean of Students here at Central Middle School. I'd like to take some time and talk to you about some do's and don'ts of things to get your kids to and from school safely. Make sure that you follow the arrival and dismissal rules set by your school. In the parking lots, make sure that you park and stop in the designated areas because students at this age will come running around, running through the parking lots. They're not paying attention to you. It's important that you pay attention to them. If you can do that, we certainly appreciate it and I'm sure your students do also. Thank you. Hi, I'm Taylor and I am from Columbus East High School. And last summer I was running after school and I was um, hit by a car on my left side. I saw the car on my left side and I looked to my right side and I forgot that left side again. And um, I turned to look and before I knew it, it was too late. And um, she had hesitated and so did I and there wasn't a light there to stop us. So um, last thing I knew I was on the concrete ground and witnesses say that she actually hit me on my left side and ran over both of my legs. So it was a very long summer. <laughs> it really did, like scared me. I was scared that I wouldn't be able to play in college like I had dreamed of ever since I was three. And um, the little injuries that I did have with just a couple stitches and icing, um, it made me realize that I need to stop this because it could be death if that car would have been a little bit faster. Putting a stoplight there, putting a pedestrian light, anything that doesn't just lead to hesitation and can just stop this. Um, it's something that I need to do and I feel like I've been called to do. I um, need to help our community and this experience has inspired me to put a flashing beacon outside of um, East High School in the intersection where I was hit. I'm Mackenzie and I'm going to talk to you about crossing the street. When you cross, cross in the crosswalk at the corner or at the signal. Make sure you push the button to walk. The crossing guard should push the button too. If you're driving near a school zone area, make sure that you're always paying attention to the pedestrians and students who are crossing the street for their safety and yours. So, how should you cross the street? Stop, look, and listen. Before you cross, look left, look right, and in my case, most definitely look left again. Look around and pay attention because sometimes drivers don't. I'm Johanna and I'm going to talk to you about bike safety. Always wear a helmet. At an intersection, get off your bike and push the button. When signaled, walk your bike across the street. When crossing the street, follow the same rules as cars. Look left, right, then left. Remember when you're riding on your bike, always be careful around walkers on the sidewalk or trails. Our community is working together to create the safest possible environment for our students. Be smart, be safe, be aware.